to our Fall Day of Education. My name is Abigail Gonzalez and I'm a doTERRA Platinum and I'm super excited to get us off and started with talking all about our immune systems. Uh, that's a really important subject, especially as we're getting into this season change. Every time we have a season change, we need to focus on what's going on in our body and what's going on with our immune system. So as we're transitioning from summer into fall, we have to focus on certain things. And then as we transition from winter into spring and summer, we have to actually focus on different things. So look forward to another day of education as we transition into the uh, winter to spring and summer season. But today we're gonna to be talking about fall and winter. So our immune system is so complex and it's a fantastic system. I've been researching about it and I'm pretty much blown away by all that our body can actually do and it takes care of itself beautifully. So when our immune system is strong, we're less likely to get sick, right? You're supported and then when you're exposed to sickness, your body is strong and it can handle it. So our body has two basic lines of defense, okay? The first line of defense is called the innate immune system. And this just includes our physical barriers like our skin, our nails, our mucous membranes, tears, and even earwax. So those things are our basic innate barriers for the body. And they protect the body from all of the invaders that are out there that we come in contact with on a daily basis. Uh, we also have chemical barriers like fatty acids, stomach acid, pro proteins, and secretions. So what do you think happens, right, when one of these pathogens gets past that innate barrier system? So, you know, our skin, the, those kinds of things, that pathogen has gotten through there. Well, that's when our more complex system called the adaptive immune system, that starts to take over. And in this system, this system is really awesome because it processes that pathogen that's gotten into the body in a way where the body actually creates immune cells to fight off the pathogen. So it's detected the pathogen, that invader, it creates its own immune cells to go and attack that specifically. Uh, it also creates the immune cells in vast quantities. So it's not just a few little fighters and they're like the body hits it hard. Um, and these cells are called lymphocytes, right? They come from the lymph system. So what exactly does that tell us, right? The, all of these systems, what does that tell us? Well, that our human bodies are very sophisticated and they have defense mechanisms that give us the ability to adapt over time and recognize pathogens. That is huge. And that is a system that we want to protect when we're dealing with wanting to build our immune system. We have these wonderful things in place that help our bodies to recognize uh, pathogens, recognize those invaders, so that when we come in contact with those invaders again, our body already is wired and triggered and knows what to do in order to get rid of it. Huge. Now, when we are not treating our immune system well, and let's say we are, um, you know, taking a lot of things that would kill off uh, our, our body's ability to do that, then we're not serving our immune system very well. Um, so when we come in contact with certain pathogens, I'll say this again, our body remembers it and it's much more effective in fighting it off. So that's what building the immune system is. You know, you tell when we have children and we want them to go and get in the dirt, you know, and, and you know, occasionally they'll eat something off of the floor and things like that. They're coming into contact with germs. They're coming into contact with invaders and pathogens. And the more they come in contact with those things, the more their immune system is gonna be built. So a lot of times your children will have recurrent colds or recurrent issues going on when they're very young. And I, I used to be really afraid of that and cautious of that, but now, I'm like, okay, I know what's going on now. My child's immune system is really building. How am I going to support that immune system to better do its job, to better see the pathogens, create those cells, and start to fight that off? So we're constantly supporting the body in its own system 
not taking something to just make everything go away, right? So we have to kind of shift our mindset and our idea of wellness and our idea of what the immune system is so that we can see it for what it is and give it what it needs to be able to do its own job. So lifestyle choices play a really big role in how strong our immune system actually is. So we wanna focus on our nutrition. If our body isn't receiving the nutrition it needs, our cells will not have the energy, right? Our bodies will not have the energy to produce those cells to fight off that pathogen. So that is a crucial, crucial thing. Um, detox. Is our body detoxifying? Are we in a constant state of getting rid of chemicals? That's another thing. If our body is clogged, nothing's going to work well, right? So we have to focus there. Rest, right? We're going to have a class all about rest later on today and how it affects the immune system. But rest is where our body heals. Rest is where our body rejuvenates. So that's something really, really important we need to focus on. And of course, our stress level, right? Oh Lord, that stress level, it can hit us hard, especially in this time of season when the holidays are coming, you know, school parties, all of the planning, the shopping, the just the, the gatherings that we have, all great things, but they can have a stress on the body. So all of those play a major role in how strong your immune system is actually going to be. So how do essential oils help us with this? So let's dive into exactly how that fits in with our immune systems and how they are just the perfect fit for helping us build our immune system. So they have a chemical footprint that is compatible with the human body. So essential oils are or you know organic, they're from nature, they're a plant, and our bodies are organic in nature and so they fit just really beautifully together. They bring the immune system into balance, right? So we're always with essential oils trying to bring that body more back into its, its current state, its balance, its homeostasis. So they are also lipophilic. And what this means is that they are fat soluble and can penetrate the cell membrane. Now, I'm just gonna let you, let's put our thinking caps on here. Viruses are also lipophilic, so viruses can get inside the cell. So if our essential oils are lipophilic and can get in the cell, what do you think is gonna happen there, right? I can't say so, so much about that because I need to be compliant in my videos, but there's a relationship there. That's one of the reasons why we can have a really effective result when using the essential oils. There's that relationship with the lipophilic and the cell membrane. So which oils should we use? Well, there's a vast array of oils that we have at our fingertips that we can use on a daily basis to help boost our systems. Uh, one of the simplest ones is lemon. Just using lemon, it's a gentle oil. Um, it's one that everyone in the family can use, especially on little uh, on children and babies. Lemon is a really great oil to dilute and put on their feet. Uh, it's also really good for uh, our respiration. So it helps with our respiratory system. Um, just applying it to the chest. Um, you can put a little bit under your nose too if you kind of have a, a runny situation happening. Um, putting a drop in, a, in your water every day. This is something I do religiously. As I drink lemon oil in my water, I have that one of those big canisters with my stainless steel straw, because I like cold water, or at least chilled. And uh, I'll drink more of it, I know, when it's a little bit more chilled. And uh, put my one drop of lemon in there, and I drink several of those a day. Uh, hydration is super important. Just like, I mean, hydration and nutrition are hand in hand, right, with our uh, building up our body and helping our systems to work well. So making sure we're drinking our water and good high quality water, right? Put a drop of that, helps to cleanse. We talked about the detoxing. Lemon oil will be a gentle cleanse for your body. It's really good. Um, you can, it's really good at disinfecting surfaces, right? cleaning off things, cleaning off little hands that have touched lots of things, right? Um, putting a drop uh, or two in a tablespoon of honey uh, and using that as just a natural lubricant for the throat, putting a drop in your hot tea. My daughter, Lily, 
uh, she is religious about drinking her green tea every morning. And so she gets up in the morning, she goes in the kitchen all by herself, and she makes her own green tea, and she puts honey, and she does her one drop of lemon in there every morning, and that's just a great way. We're hitting it in different directions. She's detoxing her body gently. She's building her immune system. And she is helping her respiratory system by coating her throat and getting herself started off the day really well. So then we have Melaleuca. Melaleuca is simply tea tree oil. And it's also very gentle. Lemon and Melaleuca together are my favorite immune boosting oils for infants and children. Um, I oftentimes don't use the heavier oils on such young ones, um, but I do dilute uh, lemon and Melaleuca and I rub it on their feet. And I did this a lot um, with my littles when I was having, we have four children, so I was having our last two and our other two were in Mother's Day out in school already. And they were, of course, bringing in, you know, more germs, more, more things were running through our home. And so I made it a, a consistent effort to put the lemon and melaleuca on the bottoms of their feet and they did beautifully. Um, it is great to apply melaleuca on the outside of the throat for any kind of um, soreness, scratchiness, anything going on in the throat, that's a really great thing to do. Um, again, putting it on the bottoms of the feet, even swishing it around your mouth and gargling it, that's a great way. Anytime that um, you know we're putting things in our mouth, we're gargling it, we're, we're swishing it around, you don't have to swallow it, you can spit it out. Um, that also is a way of boosting your immune system. So actually oil pulling, which is a way of detoxing the body, is also working on um, boosting the immune system. So put some coconut oil in your mouth with a drop of peppermint or melaleuca and oil pull for about 10 to 20 minutes, um, you know, once a day or so, a few times a week, and that will do um, your body a good service. So melaleuca, you can also use it as hand sanitizer and um, misting of surfaces. I'm not a huge fan of the smell of melaleuca. I like to use it for other things, but uh, you can do that if you'd like. And then of course we have On Guard. Now we're gonna have a whole class next on On Guard, so I'm not gonna go into great, great detail about it, but it is an amazing protective blend. Um, there's research on On Guard. I encourage you to go and look it up um, on PubMed and other, other sites, but um, lots of good things going on with On Guard. Um, we use it absolutely daily on our feet. My kids, now that they're older, right, I usually use On Guard on children that are over one years old, um, but they get it on the bottoms of their feet morning and night. So it's just a part of our routine. And I'll give you a really great recipe at the end of the class, um, exactly the recipe that I use on my family. So again, using on the feet daily for immune support, diffusing it in your house by breathing in the essential oils. I mean, they're aromatic compounds. They help build things up in our body. And that's really, really important. Plus the fact that we need to really get rid of all synthetic fragrance in our home. Because what's that doing? Well, it's clogging up our body and helping us not to be able to detox. So we've gotta get rid of the synthetic fragrance we have these fantastic oils and diffusers that we can use that, to be honest with you, I don't even miss the candles. I think diffusers, is just it's just the way to go, right? I know, you're agreeing. It's fantastic. Um, cleaning all your surfaces uh, using On Guard uh, as your hand sanitizer as well is a great idea, a great thing to do. Keep it with you, especially when you're out and about. I mean... I am kind can be kind of a germaphobe sometimes, but I do spray down my theater, you know, movie theater seats with my On Guard spray. I spray down our grocery cart, um, everyone's hands after we've been out at the park or, you know, at different play areas around. We all of our hands get sprayed down. And then I spray everyone, all the other children's hands down because everybody, they smell it and they want some on their hands too. So I always share the love. <laughs> and then everyone can be have a boost. Um, I love to gargle the On Guard, especially when my throat is sore, because On Guard has these wonderful essential oils in the blend, like clove and cinnamon that are really great um, numbing agents when we're having issues um, in our mouth or in our throat or anything like that going on. So that's what I really like to do with the On Guard. And again, it is a daily oil, absolutely daily. And then we have oregano. Oregano is a really heavy hitter. Um, it is a very hot oil, so we always, always want to dilute oregano when we're using it. 
it isn't one that I like gargle and swish around in my mouth very often. My husband does, and but he's super hardcore and can handle it. <laughs> I'm not so hardcore and don't really handle that well. So I like to dilute it and I put it on my feet. Um, I might put it in an empty veggie cap. And if you have a sensitive stomach, um, when you're taking the essential oils internally, you can always put a few drops of fractionated coconut oil in the capsule with your essential oils, and that will just help you um, if you have just a sensitive stomach. Uh, we use oregano uh, sparingly. So oregano is not your everyday oil. Oregano is what you want to go to when you're needing very targeted support right then. So say you've been exposed to some invaders and some pathogens, right, that are unwanted, then you're gonna to wanna to reach for oregano. And you're gonna to wanna to use it on the bottoms of your feet. Like I said, you can take it internally. Um, I don't really put it in my water, other ones I would, but um, again, getting those empty veggie capsules in this scenario would be wise. Um, and using it for a matter of days. So you want to use it for like five to 10 days, but then you want to give your body a rest because it is a heavy hitting oil. Um, it's good for us, but it's not one that we want to use often just so that it doesn't tax the body too much. Um, so this is also one that I, I don't use, absolutely don't use on very small children. Um, now that my kids are a little older, we do use this, but only when, again, I'm really needing that extra targeted support for their body. Then we have frankincense. Um, frankincense, gosh, it's just good for everything. I personally try and put frankincense in every blend that I make because I think it's always valuable to get frankincense in you, on you, or around you. Uh, we call it God in a Bottle. It's great for the immune system. Uh, it's it's a it's natural anti-inflammatory for the body. Helps the body um, have a really balanced natural inflammatory response, which is what we're always going towards in our health. Um, supports the respiration when applied to the chest. So my daughter, she, was, well, it's not so much anymore, but every season around this time, at any season change, she gets it in the spring as well but um, she gets kind of this tight um, barking cough. And it's been very, very difficult to um, help her to get over and to support her body. But what I have found is frankincense does a beautiful job, just a beautiful job, mixed with some of the other respiratory oils that I'll talk about. Um, and I'll give you the blend that I use on her. But I apply it to her chest several times a day and a little bit on her hands and she cups her hands over her nose and she really inhales it. Uh, we do that, I kind of do it even as a preventative for her because she just really has a weakened respiratory system. But it's very, very effective and it's effective because when we have that kind of cough, that is inflammation of the bronchial. And anytime that we are having any inflammation in the body, we want to bring in that proper balance and proper support. And what does that? Well, frankincense. So I apply that to her chest and it just is a beautiful thing. Um, and then we have Breathe. Breathe is a daily oil for us as well. It's the respiratory blend. Uh, it is just fantastic. Now, Breathe is only for topical and aromatic. Um, and you want to use just a little bit. So, you know, two to four drops diluted to the chest and, and the back of the neck, and then breathing from the hands, putting in a diffuser, just helps with all things respiratory. It's a great all together awesome blend for very small children because it has peppermint in it. And sometimes peppermint, when applied too close to the eyes, even on little small chests, it can make the eyes water. Um, and children don't really like that. So I oftentimes will just put it on the bottoms of their feet and put socks on and they're perfectly fine. Uh, there's other really great products that go along. They have a whole breathe line. They have breathe throat drops that are wonderful. My kids think that they're candy and they want to eat the whole bag and I have to divvy them out. Um, they have a breathe stick, which we absolutely love as well. That's been very, very effective for us. And of course, the breathe oil that we love. Uh, other ones, cinnamon. So cinnamon, I mentioned, is in On Guard. It's a very hot oil, but it's very supportive in fighting off germs. 
So I like to use cinnamon and I put just one drop of it in my morning tea and I, I love it. Cinnamon has a sweetness to it uh, that's lovely and I don't even have to use any extra kind of sweetener or anything. And I, I use stevia in my tea, but I even have to use less when I put my cinnamon oil in there. And it just does a great job of um, boosting the system. Black pepper as another one supports digestion and boosts the immunity. And I like to add this to some of my oil blends when I need like to bring out the big guns, right? So black pepper is again, similar to oregano where when you're really needing that extra support, you wanna bring that one out. Um, helps reduce inflammation and helps to reduce mucus in the body, which is a really great thing when we're dealing with, you know, mucus issues. So I love that one, thyme. I think a lot of people forget about thyme. I know I do. Um, it's a great fighter of germs. It's um, I use it a lot for respiratory issues, and I apply it to the chest and inha inhale it, especially over a big bowl of steam, right? You boil some water, put your essential oils in there, and then take a towel and put it over your head, over the bowl, and just breathe all of that in, and it really does a great job of breaking up anything you've got going on in your sinuses and just helping everything to move through your body. Really great oil. Thyme is another one that was has been really helpful for my kids um, when they're dealing with um, respiratory kind of things. Uh, then we have Zendocrine. Zendocrine is another one that we don't really talk about that much. Uh, it's a blend and it really helps to support that detox. And again, I, I can't emphasize enough that we always need to be focusing on our bodies detoxing, right? That gentle detox from the lemon, but also Zendocrine can really support us um, in detoxing the body in a little bit of a different way. And so you can take this internally or you can put it on the bottoms of your feet. And um, those are great ways to be able to use that and support your body. Then there's DDR Prime. And DDR Prime, just like, well, and Zendocrine too, they come in oil form, but also in soft gel form. So that's really convenient. Let's say you have lots of oils you're applying on your body and you'd rather take a soft gel. Well, then you can do that. Um, I love DDR Prime. The more I learn about it, the more I'm just in love with it and know that it's such a needed part of our life. Um, it manages abnormal cell activity and stimulates immune system. So it's a real heavy hitter. When um, I, I actually really think that we all need DDR Prime every day, much like we would need frankincense every day. So I make sure that each of my kids has their own DDR roller and we just roll it on the bottoms of our feet. Um, some days I, I miss a few days, but I always try and go back and get it on just because of what it really does for our cell activity. It's super important. Um, and then we have Purify. Purify is a great blend with all the citrus oils, right? And it really is great for disinfecting surfaces, but also it helps to, um, uh, it's a natural decongestant. So it's a really great one um, to use for that. Um, Arbor Vitae or Arbor Vitae, people say it different ways. Uh, I really, I really like this oil. This is another really gentle one to use on children. So you can combine Arbor Vitae with the lemon and your Melaleuca and a little roller bottle for your kids. And um, I apply it to the bottoms of the feet. Uh, it's also really good for opening up the airways. It's not one that I would have originally like thought to go for towards respiratory support, but it really is really good. And I discovered that one day when my husband David was really struggling and I just thought, he liked the smell of Arbor Vitae, so I thought, well, he likes the smell of it. I'll just put it on his chest to help him, you know, just to help, I guess. And it, he, I, I rubbed it on and he came to me and goes, oh my gosh, that helped so much. So Arbor Vitae, think about that for respiratory support, applying it to the chest and to the throat. Some other ones, Cypress. Uh, Cypress promotes that circulation and it's good for the respiratory support when applied topically. Um, so cypress is not one that we'll take internally, but we can, m so most of the tree oils, in fact, all of them, but one, we don't take internally. Um, Douglas fir, I love for respiratory support, just apply it to my chest. Um, cassia, there's so much that I've been learning about cassia. It's so good for helping the body to remove and expel mucus. Huge for that. Um, I have lots of testimonials about people that are getting great support from just taking it internally in a capsule. Um, and it, like 
completely helping with their buildup of mucus in their body. So remember the cassia. Uh, rosemary, it's good for respiratory support. Now think of, you know, when you're cooking uh, and when you are, um, you know, you're having some, some illness or some, some low immunity in your home and um, you're, you make your chicken soup, right? Um, comfort food, the, the things that you know are, are good for you when you're dealing with those things. And what do you spice your chicken food, your chicken soup with? Well, rosemary, thyme, you know, you put those things in there. They're really good healing, um, uh, supportive oils for the body. Um, so think of, again, using your thyme and rosemary more, especially during this, this season and this time. And then we have Siberian fir. Now this is a brand new oil, just came out in September. And this is the only uh, tree oil that you can take internally. And when taken internally, it's a great support to the respiratory system. So you can take it internally, um, you can rub it on topically. I've been using it constantly. It's also really great for um, spastic cough or just little annoying things like that. And um, it's, it's a great one. Uh, I thought I'd miss my white fur. I still love white fur, but I really, really enjoy the Siberian fur as well. So some recipes. Uh, so my favorite everyday body boosting blend, and I put this in a spray bottle or a roller bottle. The spray bottle, you'll need to put more drops in, but a roller bottle, a little bit less. And I put frankincense, melaleuca, lemon, on guard, and occasionally I'll put arborvitae in there. So that is my everyday blend that goes on our feet morning and night. Now, if I need a little more, my Body Boost Plus blend is frankincense, melaleuca, lemon, on guard, right? Like my everyday one, but then I add oregano, melissa, and black pepper. So that is when we've been exposed our body needs support, and I'll do that for five to 10 days. So both of these, you can take them internally if you want, if you're an adult, um, and you wanna apply often, especially that second blend, that Body Boost Plus blend. Um, so the drops are different, Rosie. So for kids, I usually do in a roller bottle between two and four. For an adult in a roller, I do between 12 and 15. Start down low. Um, and if you want it stronger, you can add more drops, but you can't take you know the essential oil out if you've made it too strong. So I would just start on the low end, and then if you need to make it stronger, you can. Uh, and I would do this twice a day for building support, or if you really are being affected by something right then, I would do it almost on the hour and really make sure that you're doing little amounts more often, right? Because that's how our body is best supported when using oils. All right, so, I have this great um, transition recipe from transitioning from summer into fall. Um, you know, I talked about in the beginning how our body needs different things with each different season change. So with the transition from summer to fall, we're needing clove, Siberian fir, and lemon. So I would do about three drops of clove, two drops of Siberian fir, and four drops of lemon, and I would put that on the feet. Um, I would, I would um, half that and do it internally as well, but I would do that for, you know, a, a few weeks as we're just trying to get our body moving more into the fall season, especially with all, I mean, we had some beautiful weather happening today. It's nice and cool outside. So um, all those things bring in, though, uh, different things that our body has to deal with. All right, so for some respiratory things. You heard me talk before about that steam tent. So effective. Utilize that tool. It's so easy. Everybody has water and you have a bowl and you have a towel, right? And then you've got your great oils. So making that steam tent, um, I like to use breathe um, and eucalyptus. If you're really dealing with something really intense, you could do like one drop of oregano. Um, put that towel over your head and try and do that for about 15 minutes. Um, really, really effective for opening things up, helping things to drain. Um, hot tea with honey and lemon, like I said before. Um, and then this homemade cough syrup is a great recipe. So you're gonna take half cup of organic 
honey or uh, local honey to you, right? We know the properties, the great properties of getting local honey. Um, and then you're going to add to that eight drops of peppermint, eight drops of lemon, eight drops of lavender, eight drops of frankincense, three drops of clove, three drops of wild orange, and one drop of cinnamon. And then you'll take about a teaspoon of that every three hours or so. Um, you're gonna mix that all together, it'll be kind of gooey, but um, I do that um, for our coughs a lot. Um, for my kids, sometimes if they're younger, there's a few oils that I might take out that might be a little bit spicy for them. But um, other than that, that's a great, great recipe. I hope that this was great information for you. Thank you.